a salamander. Technically, it's an organ newt. Close enough for the visual illustration. And this is a tree frog. Paleontologists have recently just found a frogamander. And a frogamander is the transitional fossil between frogs and salamanders. And the neat thing in paleontology is that uh, there's a new transitional fossil found every seven weeks on the average somewhere in the world. Um, there's a new species discovered every seven weeks. Most of them, more than 99% of them, are transitional fossils. That is something about they they're showing some trait of evolution. They are changing. They're different than their predecessors. If these animals had no uh, evolutionary change, they would be considered living fossils. And living fossils alive on Earth are extremely rare. Almost all species alive today are considered transitional. That is, they're showing some form of evolutionary change from their predecessors. Uh, you and I as human beings, we are even considered transitional. Most of the species alive today are considered transitional species. Most people have an erroneous uh, concept that transitional fossils are right at that exact cusp between two very different uh, modes of life. That's not always the case. This is an illustration of the Frogamander, an undated artist rendition of the Gerobractus hottenai. The discovery of the Frogamander, a 290 million year old fossil that links modern frogs and salamanders, may resolve a long standing debate about amphibian ancestry. Canadian scientists said on May 21, 2008, Gerobatricus means elderly frog in Greek. Part frog, part salamander, Garabatricus hatani, lived about 275 million years ago, and the only fossil of the creature ever found has shed new light on just how amphibians evolved into these two separate species. Canadian scientists who undertook the painstaking work of exposing and analyzing the fossilized remains of the prehistoric creature say that Garabatricus hatani, hatani's elder frog, is the missing link, the common ancestor that lived before frogs and salamanders hopped or walked down their separate evolutionary paths. They say their research, published in Thursday's issue of the Journal of Nature, settles a long debate in scientific circles as how these species evolved. This fossil is the most like the modern amphibian that you'll find, and it's from incredibly ancient times, said Principal Investigator Jason Anderson an assistant professor of veterinary anatomy at the University of Calgary who specializes in paleontology. So what this does is provide a conclusive evidence that frogs and salamanders have an origin among, among one particular group of extinct fossil amphibians, he said Wednesday and from Calgary. This fossil falls right into a gap in the fossil record between this fossil falls right into a gap in the fossil record between one archaic group of amphibians and the earliest examples of the modern amphibians, frogs, and salamanders. If you'd like to read more and see the articles about this, I'm going to provide links in the uh, video description of this video. Just look to the right where the blue word that says more, just click that. A fossil of an ancient amphibian that was half frog, half salamander appears to be the missing link between the two species it may settle a long, simmering debate over whether they indeed evolved from a single ancestor, scientists say. This is a photo of the fossil, which is about 12 centimeters or four and a half inches. Canadian Press. See his back feet there.